Hey there guys, today I thought I might show you realistically what my desk setup looks like on a daily basis. In case you're curious what tools I use in order to do my job as a software developer as well as stay productive for most of the day while working on other side hustles, stick around. Before starting out, I'll warn you that this won't be one of those flawless setups powered by the latest MacBook and with perfect cable management. It is much more realistic and practical than that and I use it daily. But not all the gadgets here are that new, in fact I still do all my non-job related work on an M1 MacBook Air, the base model to be more specific. I bought this machine pretty much when it came out. I never owned a MacBook before and came in with low expectations. I thought it would be a light browsing machine that wouldn't be able to do any complex work. And boy was I wrong. To this day I coded entire iPhone apps on it in Xcode all while also recording the screen for an online course of mine. All the videos uploaded on this channel that are 4K were edited entirely on this laptop and the battery still holds me pretty much an entire day for light to medium use. I thought about upgrading to the Pro model a few times as this one has some minor downsides, but for now I just don't find it's worth it. The truth is it has only 8 gigs of RAM and editing 8K videos or very complex timelines while also having open 30 tabs of Google Chrome might be too much. But fortunately I just never got to that point thanks to the memory swap and my personal use cases. Besides this it only has two USB-C ports and you'd also need to use one of them to charge it once in a while. That is why you need a docking station. I used to have an Anchor 5-in-1 hub which did great but it was limited to one 4K external monitor with only 30 Hz. Being a software engineer I often need more than one external screen and ideally they would have the same resolution and refresh rate. Well this weakness of the adapter was something I was truly unhappy with. That was luckily until the guys from Ivanki reached out and offered me the Fusion Dock Pro 1 Plus. This docking solution works for any ARM based MacBook and I honestly have to say it is a beast. You can connect up to 3 external displays with it, 4K, 60Hz. It also has a bunch of ports, pretty much anything you might need, from USB ports, SD card readers, Ethernet connectivity, an audio jack and is also able to charge your Mac at 100 watts. Another bonus it has is the 10 GB per second data transfer speed, which makes moving files a breeze. I couldn't recommend this product enough and just in case you want to get one for your MacBook setup, I'll leave the link to it in the description below. The monitor I choose for my setup is a 27 inch 4K LG display. I bought it about 2 years ago but never felt like I needed more. The free sync technology along with the 60Hz refresh rate makes it perfect for productive tasks as well as watching movies or gaming. I think that the next two accessories I paired it with make a ton of difference. They are so useful. For once I got an arm that holds it and this not only saves a lot of desk real estate to put my laptop laptop in while I am eating but it can also rotate it and adjust its position quite a bit. The Xiaomi monitor lamp is another lifesaver. For a reasonable price it lowers eye strain and prevents any screen related headaches I used to get. Not to mention the premium quality this has for the price. It has a remote knob that can fine tune its light density as well as warmth. I also got a mouse for when I get tired of the trackpad or just anything that requires more precision. It is a large Tech G305 with a Steel Series mousepad underneath. Maybe sometimes in the near future I might upgrade to the MX Master as I hear a lot of good things about it and the shape it has seems to be much more ergonomic. Like every other programmer out there, I have an aesthetic mechanical keyboard. It is the Apple Maker TH80 Pro with the 75% layout. What I love about it, besides the minimal look and the dimensions it has, is that you can connect it simultaneously through USB, Bluetooth and wire. For the switches I went with the linear ones called Flamingo. The thucky sounds it makes is heaven. When it comes to the microphone I use when doing these voiceovers I definitely need an upgrade. But what I have now is the SteelSeries HyperX SoloCast on a cheap Amazon mic arm. 
I was thinking either going full XLR with a Scarlett Focusrite solo audio interface and a Rode Hold mic or getting the Fifine K688. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other suggestions here. The biggest change my setup had this year was getting a standing desk. More precisely just the legs that are the FlexiSpot E5. I kept my old IKEA desktop that has some wear signs on it, but I still find it pretty usable. These legs have three customizable height positions that can be remembered along with the standard up, down and an alarm to notify you when you've been seated for a prolonged period. Next to my desk, but still a part of my setup, I got my PlayStation console that I sometimes whip up in the evening when I want to relax. That is of course if I'm not playing FIFA, in that case I just get angry and rage. Wait. As far as headphones go, I got the AirPods Pro second generation for when I am on the go or headed to the gym. The noise cancellation on these is quite good, but not as good as on my over the ear pair, the Sony XM5s. I only use those inside though when I try to concentrate and it is noisy or when I want to listen to some heavy bass music. But I think that wraps up pretty much everything that I use on a daily basis in my desk setup. If you guys have any questions leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!